yeah welcome back you guys welcome back to ironclad rc uh this is a 100 custom sport fishing boat build i've been working on it's a little series uh everything on this boat is custom made like 100 percent uh everything from the tuna tower to outriggers motor mount stuff a tube rudder uh everything everything is custom built on this boat um today we're going to take this boat out and give it its first maiden all right um i want to kind of button everything up and get it kind of eh, finalized ish <laughs> to uh take it out for its first run the reason being i i i don't want to permanently mount my batteries all right uh in the boat so I want to take it out, kind of see how the boat acts, where I need to kind of mount them at. All right, because I'm kind of up in the air about that. I've also built this servo mount. All right, it's so, uh, fiberglass. I'm going to mount the servo right here. All right, I kind of made a big bulky servo mount because I'm going to paint it white to match the boat. I'm also going to add some diamond plate steel, well, aluminum to it, kind of give it a scale look. Yeah, so yeah, stick around, stick around. We're going to take the boat out in this video, okay? Um, I just want to get everything kind of, finalized ish and uh yeah we'll take it out for its first run you know then we'll bring it back home in the next video and make battery trays and, and kind of button everything up uh in in the in the build part of the boat so stick around let's go ahead and get the wires soldered up back up onto this onto this motor right here one broke off i think i'm gonna go ahead and use like a longer yeah, wire this is the junkyard this is the junkyard servos escs have blown up there's my latest addition the hobby star from the creighton smoked <laughs> what we got here yeah this wires are longer for for my motor wire, it gives me a little bit more options for ESC placement. All right, I got a bunch of odd and end things to do on the boat. I want to—I really just want to take it out and see how it's how it's performing. You know, just get a feel for the boat before I permanently mount batteries and stuff. Cause uh, you know, I I don't build boats like this. You know, I build fast electric boats, and the scale boat build is kind of new to me. You know, it's not new, but um it's just uh it's different i should i guess i say it like that it's different turned out nice series connector huh So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get this servo mount mounted up so that the epoxy can go ahead and start curing out. I need to paint it and everything. I'm just going to paint it in the boat because I wanted to paint over this, uh, this through hole right here as well. So uh, I'm going to clean up, get this all, some of the paint roughed up so we get a, a nice bond with the epoxy. Yeah, I think that's gonna look pretty cool. And then we'll cut out some some diamond plate. You know, JB Weld five minute epoxy for the servo mount or glass hairs mixed in with your with your epoxy. All right, and it'll give you more structure and keep it in place. It's not gonna pull off. Also, also it tends to to harden or dry cure quicker with fiberglass cloth mixed in with the epoxy. So. Then we'll paint it, you know, I'm gonna paint it up. I'm gonna get started on it. Man, I didn't drill no hole for my wire to come out. Jeez, I'm an idiot. Now it's gonna be tough. Oh man, what the what? Let 
my steering linkages all right so what i did is i just bent a little little l bend at the bottom of my rudder arm all right and then with this thinner wire i can just uh make sure it's on the back side i just bend it right over all right boom okay and we got to make sure both of these are identical both of these cables are identical the rods make sure they're straight all right these are thin thin rods so i'm just going to kind of make sure my servo zeroed out all right make sure my steering rod my steering arm is zeroed out and pinch it right in front or right behind i guess where i want my bend and just bend a little 90 degree all right snip off the extra for right now okay boom all right i'm gonna do the same thing for this side yeah see got my z bend so they don't back off and we'll just trim up the excess wire there just to make it look nice see here since this boat is probably going to be wet on the inside um this hatch it's a huge hatch area and it's not really going to be sealed all that well I've got a um, it's a pump a water pump all right so uh, sucks water in one of these holes it's got to be this one it came off of some kind of automatic dog watering apparatus for, for animals it would pump water in a we just didn't use it no more so I took it apart yeah I think it'll be a good bilge pump if I can get it working right you know oh it works all right let's see oh oh wow yeah that'd be a good bilge pump man that would be perfect man I got a little ESC we could put on Yeah. Alright, so let's take a look at it. So the water was coming out here. So I'm thinking we can use maybe a little nipple. I can thread it and screw this nipple in there. It's kind of bulky, but not too bad. Where we could put it at? Trim this, this needle up. Maybe we'll do this in the next video or something. So maybe we'll mount it like right here. Or something right in front of the servo or or we could hook it up to our our water intake all right maybe put a nipple on this part too hook it up to our water intake like so and have it pull water all the time all the time because this boat's not going to go fast and it would be nice to just pull water all the time just like a real boat you'd have you know your exhaust water coming out all the time you know just like in a real boat that'll be in an upcoming video i want to test the boat out today um i got everything run you know it's just kind of in place for right now we're going to take it to the lake got my cooling run uh this cooling is probably not going to work all that great that water pickups never really picked up water all that great i made it myself when i built the boat five years ago so uh well let's let's go see let's put it in the water it's time for the maiden <laughs> Oh, 
looks good in the water. Oh man, it looks nice in the water. Looks nice in the water. Looks like a freaking real sport fishing boat. All right, so let's see how she goes when I, when I give it some throttle. I think that's gonna be the place for those batteries in the back like that. I can tell already it's running better than it used to. Oh yeah, much better, much better. Let's see the turning, check the turning. Turns left good, ooh, it turns real good. All right, turn right good. I had no water coming out for water cooling. So I better slow it down. Man, she is like running good. I'm gonna hook that water pump up for water cooling. That way it's always pumping. It's kind of quick. Yeah, she's kind of quick. That's all you need right there. She's up on plane, man. That's perfect. There's a big wake. <laughs> She looks good in the water, you guys. Yeah, I just wanted to check for leaks. Make sure, really wanted to see if that if I was getting water cooling. I didn't think I would. Uh, that that water inlet, it don't really have like a little lip for it to pick up water. It was my first attempt at it, like a, a, a in hull water pickup. When I, you know, this is my first boat I built five years ago my first boat ever so um you know I, has a lot to be desired you know at first so i think i am going to hook up the the automatic water cooling you know the with that with that pump i have i'll figure it out we'll figure it out in the next video but man she looks good on the water i'm stoked man see how low it sits in the back um I really hate to put those batteries back there. And she looks like she's listing to the right now. So I might put my water pump on the left with that um that fuel line, that fuel cell, you know, for water cooling. I might do all that on the left side because she does have a little bit of a list. But she turns tight, look at that. So all my geometry with the rudder, all that planning I did. Um, you know the the eight degrees on my on my prop shaft, all that planning and, and extra extra attention and detail you know to detail I showed showed the boat it really it really helped in the final product. Look at that man, nice sharp turn, almost too damn sharp. <laughs> very nimble almost like I got uh, twins in it and I'm corkscrewing the boat that's how nimble it is you know oh man she's beautiful in the water so yeah yeah this is what I wanted to do in this video just kind of get it in the water do some odd and end things you know um, see how it rode so I am going to run my batteries in the back uh, I don't even have to test them up front or anything that's where I'm going to run them that's where I'm going to run them for sure for sure, for sure, in the back of the boat back there. You know, you want your weight in the back. And this, I'll be adding some more scale details up front, like the handrail and everything. So I definitely need the weight uh, as far back as I can get it, you know. So I just unplugged one of my batteries, all right? And we're gonna run the single, just to see if it makes a difference in the performance. So she's not listing with the single cell battery in it. See that? no list so so yeah if i put that pump in there on the and it's actually down quicker with one battery I could tell a big difference much quicker with a single battery i'm gonna run the two batteries gives you longer run run time with the nickel metals and uh just run the pump and everything for the cooling on the left side port side 
super stoked to see it in the water finally uh see it in the water again you know I've, I've run this boat years ago but it didn't ever run like this you know i had the rudder hanging off the back surface drive and all that mess so yeah in the next video we'll actually um we're gonna run the boat but i got some stuff to do i've got to make a pump modify that pump and and all that good stuff um i may go back to the house and we may kind of work on a few things in this video depending on how long the video is already but um yeah because she wasn't cooling at all no water coming out at all at all so um yeah well yeah i'll, I'll either see you at the house or I'll, I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching big b with ironclad rc <laughs> don't forget to like comment subscribe to the channel